Hey folks, it's Ash and Doc, and welcome to Evil Within. This heart attack simulator, masterminded by Tango Gameworks, introduces us to our tour guide, Detective Sebastian Castellanos. He's got the charm, the good looks, and a knack for attracting things that want to eat him. It began with a rather urgent dispatch call. Upon arrival to the mental hospital, things went from this is bad to I want my mommy real quick. Anyway, we barely escaped the chaos, but crashed here at this jungle. I see not so friendly villagers. I was thinking of asking the address, probably a bad idea. No ammo, one match. Shall I set fire to the haystack? You may call me Monster Burner from now on. So I suppose it doesn't do anything. Maybe a little bit stealth. Shit, he saw me. I'm gonna fool him with this bottle of water. Oh, he's smart. Okay, gonna run. Those years of smoking have finally caught up with me in the worst possible situation. I have almost no lungs. A shiver runs down my spine, the air heavy with a sense of impending doom. I wish I could take a moment to soak in the atmosphere, the very essence of this twisted village, but I'm still being followed. With every step I take, the darkness seems to press closer, suffocating and relentless. Each step is deliberate, each decision calculated, for my survival depends on it. Suddenly before me stands another creature of unimaginable horror. Its twisted visage is like a grotesque painting come to life, a nightmarish creation born from the depths of this macabre realm. My pulse quickens, but I steady my resolve. I can't help but wonder, who left this lamp here? I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. Maybe not. This guy is persistent. Oh, hi. I feel I'm being pulled just looking at you. Easy, man. I have to smash this bottle of water in your head then. Missed that. Oh my god, don't touch me. Sneaky little devil. Got me a hickey. Reminds me of my ex. Such a terrifying game. Apparently they all have sharp eyes. Can he lose me in this grass? Nope. I wish I could kick those bastards like this. I'm going to hide, waiting for him to move on. That felt like an eternity. Should I burn you? Maybe not. Uh, another trap? Uh, 
Um, finally some ammo. Are you following me? I'm pissed. Oh, you again. Don't make me use this bottle of water. Go catch this. Shit. Okay, I'll go myself. I think they lost me. Oh, fuck. The traps got them, I'm genius. I better be fast. You may have heard the saying that you are the average of the five people around you. This means that your habits, attitudes, beliefs and behaviors are influenced by the people you interact with regularly. Whether you are aware of it or not, you are constantly learning from and adapting to the people around you. Therefore, it is important to choose wisely who you surround yourself with. Oh shit, a trap. I was almost going to get exploded. I got lucky that I noticed the trap. Let's disarm it. Wish me luck. Yeah. From this moment forward, I embrace a new way of traversing this treacherous realm. I choose to bend and walk. Call me hunchback. Can I scare him with this empty gun? Out of ammo? Shit. Maybe this time do it faster. Okay then. I hide behind this wall, making them confuse. Well, they're busy in there. Let's try one more time. Can I do it this time? Oh, my appendix.
going to use these traps against them. Can I sneak below the trap? I have an idea. How about using the trap to make him explode? Oh, here we go again. They kill me already. Sometimes running away is the best strategy. Tell me about it. It seems I can bend to pass this trap. As I face the relentless onslaught of the undead, I find myself resorting to a drastic and fiery solution. The flames leap to life, engulfing them in a frenzy of heat and destruction. Their wretched screams fill the night, drowned out by the crackling inferno that consumes their decaying bodies. Finally, Can he spot me in this grass? Another successful stealth kill. I'm almost invisible. What am I doing? That's the stupidest thing I've done so far. <laughs> 